Okay, so we're going to try the initial updates because probably the image that you get from the factory is not the latest one. So, yeah, as you might see on the left hand side, I connected a USB C hub. Um, it actually does charge from the USB C hub, but the Ethernet connection. Well, it doesn't get picked up automatically. Um, so we are going to try to set up a Wi-Fi connection. So there you have this little icon with a cross. And when you click on it, you can connect to a Wi-Fi network. In my case, I'm using a hidden network. It's not really... heavily secured but it will filter out the first line of attack So let's see if it wants to connect. And we're connected. So as a first test, we'll start Firefox. And we can try to go to the Pine64 website. And there you have it. Internet is working. Oh well. We'll decide about the cookies at some other point in time. Then you can update the Mr. Fixit scripts. Um, so the pseudo password for rock is actually still rock. And yes, I want to continue. And let's see what it actually does. Okay, so it says we have to reboot, so we'll reboot. And that also means that you can see how quickly it reboots. So it remembered the Wi-Fi connection and we're connected. Uh, 
and we'll do the sudo apt update well that is still rock So now we do sudo apt upgrade. And yes, we want to continue. That's quite quick. And as a last step, we do sudo apt auto remove. And we've done the upgrades. Well, as um, one last test for today, I want to try the um, a USB stick. Um, I already tried it before starting recording and there is something a bit strange. Um, I can show you. So first we have a Kingston uh, USB stick and I'm putting it into the USB-C hub and well now it no longer wants to show it that's interesting because before the update it actually did work um, so I'm gonna try it directly in the USB port of the Pinebook Pro. Let's see what it does there. Hmm. Okay, so it does work directly from the USB port from the Pinebook Pro. And, well, I don't know if you really want to believe me or not, but um, yes, it actually was working from the USB-C hub before the upgrade. That is uh, rather interesting. So, um, I can try to eject it properly. And then it says unable to eject, so 
perhaps that's something that needs to be worked on too. Um, well, let's see, one last try in a USB-C hub. And no, it doesn't work. Well, there was one last thing, so I have an